six races down in the RSX at Fleets and the points are close separating the top ten. Seasoned campaigner and 2012 Olympic gold medalist Dorian van Rysselberger of the Netherlands has not raced internationally since the ISAF Worlds in September 2014 when he finished seventh. He's now back seeking a podium glory and a repeat of the three previous victories he secured here in Miami in 2009, 2010 and 2011. But it's young French talent Gear who so far tops the leaderboard with a narrow points advantage. Counting three wins from six races, Gear is setting the pace in these shifty wind conditions, despite the fact it is his first time ever racing here. Uh, I'm very happy because uh, actually, like yesterday, the wind is very tricky, so it's difficult to stay on the top of the fleet every time. So I'm happy because yesterday I won uh, two races, so just try to do the best uh, as I can and enjoy the beautiful weather. There'll be no let-up for Gia though, with Van Rysselberger and world number one Kokolanis of Greece just behind. To achieve success, teamwork is crucial in crewed boats. New partnerships take a while to settle in as each team member finds their optimum role and performance. In the NACRA 17, Spain's Fernando Echevarri and crew Tara Pateco face just that challenge. Echevarri was coaching Pateco in her NAGRA partnership with Ika Martinez. But when they split up, Echevarri stepped in as helm and takes the NAGRA 17 racing for the first time in Miami. The NAGRA is an altogether thoroughbred racing machine to master, as the Kiwi pair of Jones and Saunders know well. They lead overall and are the only team with an all top 10 results scoreline from six races. If they hold this place or even just remain in a podium position, Miami will go down as a NACRA career best. Brits, Saxton and Groves put in another solid day and look good to improve on their third place finish last year. Surprisingly, two-time NAGRA 17 world champions Besson and Rioux of France sit out the top three, but only just in fourth overall. 